Hi YouTube, Tim here, and now I wanted to show you something else that I've been working on. This is another Ottoman Turkish bow with wood sias, but this one is a monster. This is a beast. It's probably not going to work, but failing and learning from those mistakes is really fun, and I find it a good way to just figure out what will work and what won't work. Trying things that seem like bad ideas. Eh, I'm having an okay run of it, so right now... These are the coffee finish sias, and they look much nicer. I do think in the future I want to use a single piece of hickory that'll bend, or a single piece of wood that'll bend, to be a little bit stronger. So, once I subtracted these areas of PVC, the bow weighed 514 grams before I added what hopefully will protect the heck out of me. That's uh, fiberglass strapping tape. Reinforcement. I will take it off once I understand that this will not explode, but I don't know what's going to happen. So, just for a hint, when I drew it fewer than six inches from brace, and it braces at about five and a half, six inches, it was weighing about 35 pounds. So that gives you an idea of its final draw weight is probably upwards of 100 pounds. And that's not hard to imagine, given the fact that it's a 46 inch long piece of 1 inch PVC, which is really excessively short. In the future, if I made one like this, I'd make it at least 49 inches, which is still an authentic length for a target bow. There the bow is strung, just under, say, 5.5 inches. And like I say, it's very, very heavy. I think either the sias are going to fail, or the limbs are just going to snap off. But who knows? My hope is that it'll simply fail gracefully and flop before then. But we'll see. I think even at a very short draw, this is going to be a very powerful bow. I'm just going to go and get some goggles, a coat, some gloves, and we're going to make sure I don't hurt myself really badly doing this. All right? Here I am, leather coat, leather glove, goggles. In the worst case scenario, I should still be fairly well protected. As I said, it's a very strong bow, but hopefully it will flex sufficiently here and throughout the handle to not explode, if I'm even able to draw it far enough for that to happen, which is yet to be seen. I've never tried to draw it to anywhere near a full draw, and I let me show it to you once more before it's been braced. The sias, the knocks, are just on the inside of the handle. So let's call it no reflex. Of course, we're reducing performance, but PVC doesn't bend as much. It's not as stiff as wood or as other objects, but it gains its peculiar properties through the thickness of the limbs and the, the cross-sectional profile. So even if this bow right here now fails, that's not to say that a more deflexed bow would not fail. All of these things are yet to be seen, yet I still hope it doesn't fail. If it does, at least it's on camera this time. That's it. I can't draw it past there, and it seems to be safe at that point, but I'm very intrigued to know how much more it can take, but I can't be the one to do it. I may have to create a special rig with a crank. We have one, so let's just see if I go ahead and build one and figure out the poundage at the distance and see exactly how far it will flex. 
If you want to see me test it until it explodes or, or collapses, just put that in the notes and maybe I can do that too. On the other hand, I really do like it and I'd rather not waste it. But since I am using hot melt glue, I will be able to recover the Sia's if they are undamaged. But like I said, I sort of expect them to be the part that fails. I don't know, I'm leaving them thicker than the uh, traditional bows. But again, the wood is not as good quality. It's lower density, not as strong wood, and the grain is not perfect. So, there is my monster Turkish bow. It's a very heavy bow. I think it would be suitable for, for some very serious shooting, if it can be used at all. Unfortunately, that remains to be seen. So tune in and we'll do some more looking at the crazy bow. At least I didn't put shards of PVC into my uh, my face. Thanks for watching YouTube. Alright, this should be a better angle. I know the last portion of that was a little bit poorly cut, but sorry, this I'm trying not to show too much of my neighbor's yards and houses and get them in. So I hope you understand why sometimes I take it from odd angles. Nevertheless, here we go. This is the same bow. I'm not wearing the leather jacket because I no longer believe that I'm even capable of stressing this bow far enough to, to damage it, to break it, if it can be or will be broken. Even just stringing it's quite an adventure. Like I said, 514 grams, strapping tape, strapping tape especially here near the ends, not on the seas, which is where I expect it to fail, if it fails. Yeah. Essentially, almost get it to my face. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. I'm really happy with that because that means I'm pulling ooh, somewhere over 80 pounds just to get it that far. And it's not even the full draw yet, but it's getting close. Even where I was yesterday, it was still shooting really fast. This thing is pretty amazing for what it is. So I hope you enjoyed this little preview, and I hope you uh, will tune in to see what I do with it next.